to measure thumb interphalangeal joint extension to flexion, patient is seated at the table. The um, thumb is extended to begin with. The goniometer is simply placed again on edge on the back of the thumb with the axis of the goniometer lined up with the interphalangeal joint. Um, can you get any farther back than that? That's about it. Okay, very good. So we have about uh, 23 degrees of hyperextension at the thumb IP joint. And then can you bring your thumb all the way down? All right, try to touch way back here, get it really tight. The ASHT, or I'm sorry, the American Medical Association method for measuring thumb flexion is uh, like this with the goniometer on edge and the moving arm extending all the way to the end of the nail. That's the, the key with the American Medical Association method. And using that method we have about 60 degrees of flexion. The ASHT method, however, uses a goniometer with a shorter moving arm that ends at the base of the thumbnail, so that it does not extend all the way to the end of the nail. And that gives us a different measurement, almost 70 degrees of thumb interphalangeal joint flexion.